Today on Forbes, how South Korea's Jables are pushing the robotics revolution. In 2021, Hyundai Motor Company paid $1.1 billion to acquire 80% of robotics pioneer Boston Dynamics, famous for its videos of its dog-shaped bot named Spot and its running and jumping humanoid Atlas. The deal initially seemed more of a headline grab for Hyundai rather than part of a fully baked strategy. That's no longer the case. Four years later, Hyundai, which had $130 billion in 2024 sales and is number 142 on the 2025 Forbes Global 2000, a ranking of the largest public companies in the world, now represents the tip of the spear in Korea Inc.'s thrust into robotics. Hyundai, the world's third largest automaker, when including its 35% ownership of Kia Corp, has kept developing Spot especially for use as a roving site inspector, and continues to iterate Atlas, with the intention of selling mass-produced humanoids controlled by AI as soon as 2028. Hyundai's robotics lab has already deployed its Expo platform of wearable robotic exoskeletons for use in factories. Expo Shoulder, launched late last year after trials with 300 workers, is said to reduce shoulder and deltoid muscle exertions by more than 30% when lifting heavy objects like car parts. Its Expo MEX is a more complicated rehabilitation suit that can help people walk again. Incredibly, these Expo exoskeletons don't require an outside power source, instead using passive spring torque mechanics. Industrial robots are nothing new to Korea, which already leads the world in density of robot deployment, with 1,000 bots per 10,000 factory workers, compared to about 300 in the US and 470 in China. The robotics division of Doosan, which has $13 billion in sales and is controlled by billionaire Park jong wan has already commercialized the Cobot, an industrial robot adept at welding, sanding, palletizing, food frying, and luggage handling. Korea's powerful Jables and the Korean government see massive opportunity for robots outside the factory. The government's new public-private partnership, the K-Humanoid Alliance, aims to offer a commercially viable bipedal bot by 2028 that weighs less than 130 pounds, can lift 40 pounds, walk about three yards per second, and can move with the flexibility enabled by more than 50 joints. The K-Humanoid Alliance seeks to develop a common AI, so-called brain, that all Korean robots can use. LG Electronics, with $70 billion in revenue and number 910 on the Forbes Global 2000 list, already offers a rolling bot called Chloe, deployed for serving and carrying. LG last year introduced the small Q9 household bot, which can see, hear, talk, and make up stories to entertain kids. Samsung Electronics, the semiconductor and appliance giant, with $220 billion in revenue and number 21 on the Forbes Global 2000, owns 35% of Rainbow Robotics, founded in 2011 by researchers at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. They have shown off the Hubo bipedal robot and the RBY1 wheeled humanoid. Robot prowess could soon become a matter of existential urgency for Korea, which suffers the world's lowest fertility rate at less than 1% and expects to need a lot more bots to care for its rapidly aging population. Robotics could also help spur the sagging state of Korea's $1.7 trillion economy, forecast by the Bank of Korea to see anemic 0.8% GDP growth this year, following a 0.2% contraction in the first quarter. The KOSPI stock index is up 6% in the past year and merely 34% in five years. Korea's new president, the progressive Lee Jae-myung, has pledged a $30 billion tech stimulus package. Hyundai's purchase of 80% of Boston Dynamics, SoftBank owns the other 20%, may have seemed like it's anti into the field of robotics, but now it has become the basis for game-changing productivity and products. Korean companies have been doing this for decades with semiconductors, smartphones, TVs, and refrigerators. Already, spotbots outfitted with sensors continuously patrol complex and dangerous industrial sites, saving customers from having to install hundreds or thousands of static sensors. The U.S. Secret Service even has a spot prowling the grounds of Mar-a-Lago. Recent videos from Boston Dynamics shows the humanoid Atlas bot crawling, tumbling, and even breakdancing. 
For full coverage, check out Christopher Hellman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.